Those stories in a moment, but first, a story right out of a movie. A Charlotte woman chased by a would-be attacker running straight into a karate studio. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. I'm Sarah French. And I'm Bill McGinty. A karate instructor helped police apprehend that suspect, saving the woman from a possible kidnapping. Now, this all happened at the Bushkin Karate uh, Charlotte Dojo, which is on Statesville Avenue in North Charlotte. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown joins us now with that story. Police say it happened around 845 last night. A woman was walking down this road when she was approached by a man who repeatedly tried to get her into his truck. She ran to the first place she could find, which happened to be this karate studio. She was definitely in panic. She was scared to death. But she came to the right place. <laughs> And because of her quick thinking, this man, who is no stranger to the law, is now in jail. Police say August Williams tried to kidnap a woman Thursday night as she walked down Statesville Avenue in North Charlotte. She ran, and he chased her here. The lady stated, he's trying to get me. With a room full of skilled karate instructors and students, <laughs> you could say luck was on her side. He started to swing and punch at me. So from there... We got into a little altercation. Head instructor Randall Ephraim performed what he calls a basic self-defense move and escorted the guy out. It was just a waiting game of um, subduing him outside and waiting for the police to come. Officers say Williams appeared to be under the influence of drugs, and there's no telling what could have happened had the studio's doors not been open. She lucked out and chose a good spot, which um, it is, is a good safety tip. If you think you're in danger, run to a group of people that you can find, and, and, and she was telling them to call 911. Uh, you do that, most suspects will leave, or if not, there's safety in numbers. They don't want to be called heroes for what they did. <laughs> They're just happy a woman in their community was able to go home to her family at the end of a long day. No, I was just doing what any responsible citizen in the community should do, which is protect the women, the children, and the elderly. Reporting in North Charlotte, Rachel Brown, NBC Charlotte. Rachel also says police don't think this was totally random. They are still investigating if there was any prior relationship between the two. Police are also looking to see if this man might be connected to any unsolved cases. He has been arrested before on assault and weapons charges.